The first feature of Walnut School that I would like to talk about is a well-planned learning system. This learning system is at the heart of Walnut School. We know exactly what the child is expected to learn across 13 years spent with us from nursery to the 10th standard. We know how many days and periods we have with the children too. So we plan and we plan a lot. We plan what is going to be done in each and every period for each and every class, for each and every subject, for each and every year. That is what makes up our learning system. It's a whole system made up of many little parts. These are worksheets, presentations, hands-on activities, group discussions, assessments, demonstrations, multimedia and quizzing. All these things work together to create a wholesome learning experience for the children. It also enables us to run unique concepts like the subject-wise classrooms and a bagless school which has huge advantages for the children. Every concept that is taught in a period has a definite approach and explanation which has to be communicated to the students. Information is presented in an age-appropriate way so that children understand it well. Some concepts are understood through discussion and debate. Some concepts are better understood through activities. There is also a great variety in the exercises that the students do on the worksheets. Worksheets are handouts that are given to each and every child in the classroom in every period. They follow a planning blueprint which has been made considering a child's 13-year journey in school from nursery to 10th. The content on the Walnut School worksheets is a key differentiator. It contains age-appropriate material which encourages every child to think, which in turn enhances their ability to absorb, process and retain information. For the teachers, these exercises test understanding and assimilation of a concept. Every worksheet is thought out and planned thoroughly. Every worksheet is therefore very unique in its approach. Once a concept is taught, we have special revision worksheets which make sure that there is a thoroughness in what has been learned. Worksheets help us standardize the information to be taught across classrooms. They also take away a lot of headache from the teachers of writing on the board or dictating things in class. Because of this, a Walnut teacher gets more time to actually teach and she can move around freely in the classroom. She can help children correct their mistakes on the spot. While all this is going on, children have access to multimedia lectures in school and at home too. The lectures are split concept-wise and have simple visual aids to help learning. Children can pull them up at will and learn at their own pace. It's great for remedial and repetitive teaching. In higher classes, kids can easily pull up a video on a particular concept of a lower class and refresh their memory. In addition to this, there are also a lot of multiple choice quizzes for every concept. There's a huge pool of questions that's sorted according to concept and difficulty level. Every time the child feels ready, a new quiz is generated. They can solve it and get immediate feedback. These quizzes help check understanding in a quick and easy manner for everyone, the students, teachers and parents too. The Walnut Learning System has been built by putting together a lot of focused research and using a lot of systems and technology. For all this innovation, we have a separate research and development team. I have been leading this activity for more than 15 years. At Walnut School, this learning system takes care of the daily planning that teachers have to do and frees them up for the most important task, focusing on the students. As the work for each period is already planned, the syllabus is covered properly. There is no rush to finish the portion and no need for any omissions. All this helps students become better learners. They understand concepts better and enthusiastic students always keep the teachers motivated. Parents also team up with the school and we see that our children really, really flourish. All of this creates a pleasant and fruitful experience for everyone at Walnut School. My teachers aren't stressed, my students learn and parents are happy. And they are always kept in the loop for everything all the time.
the best thing you know why i selected this school was uh, mainly the bagler school is the concept which is really coming up now and i had been thinking about that concept since a long time and that was the main thing you know the academics what you have planned is fantastic i'm really very happy about it uh, i have seen lot of improvement with paras my son who's joined since last june in this 6 months i have found um, a vast difference between his liking towards uh, the academics because that's what i feel is very important for a child he should like studying first and then he will uh, really come up with the whole thing so he is doing very well that was the first feature i really liked the best part of uh, being a parent of uh, two kids studying in walnut uh, is that we feel that everything is extremely planned uh, that said that plan is not restricting the children to do what they need to do at this stage there is enough room for them to play to have a lot of creativity at the same time the plan is very good focus very well focused on uh, what needs to be studied at this stage so that we feel is the best part and then there are other important things like reducing their burden in terms of uh, the bagless school uh, good planning in terms of their academic as well as non academic activities they are definitely very important another uh, most important thing that we were impressed and we continue to get impressed is the amount of hard work and planning it goes uh, i am a software professional so like it it almost feels like you guys are running a six sigma kind of organization where where you are planning everything you are keeping room for improvements uh, just as an example we saw a newsletter which says that uh, on 30th of october we are going to have a small carnival and in that when we come we can expect to see 24 forts built now making that kind of a statement in newsletter takes lot of planning uh, because you would need to know which 24 forts who's going to build them where they are going to be built so that amount of planning we rarely see in academics it's like we we have, we have mostly seen chalta hai approach like we'll find out when we get there but this level of planning is is really uh, the key because what i feel that does is the fact that you are planning for all these activities you are making sure that the academics is covered and then giving room for children so right now the children are practicing for legium and my younger one is practicing for the dindi and uh, that's happening just a week before their exams but we are not worried because we know that the school is going to cover the academics as well as all these activities